course, we started watching Monday Night Raw five minutes after it started because Justin was playing 2K19. Mm-hmm. So, but when we turned it on, we seen Braun in the ring, and we know the superstars all around the ring. Of course, we know he probably attacked him because, of course, we know who he wants. He wants Baron Corbin. To get these hands. Yeah. Um, and then we, when we turned it on, we see Stephanie McMahon coming out. And waddle, 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 waddle. Yeah. Waddle. <laughs> Stuck up snap coming. And they're talking about Corbin, his survivor series, he wants Braun he wants Baron Corbin and she's like, Okay, you got him done and then he wants to make stimulation. She's like, Okay, you done and she wants he wants Baron to sign a wafer. And he goes, That's gonna be a while, but don't worry, that'll be taken care of. Mm -hmm. But he has not to touch Baron Corbin until after Survivor Series. Then Ronda Rousey shows up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, of course, and she's just, um, yeah, then Ronda coming out, nothing, blah, 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 and then she wants a challenge. She's sick of Becky saying she's the man and this and that and whatever, and then, of course, Corbin puts his hand on Ronda and never do that. Nope. And then she flipped them and... Ronda went out of the ring and then turned around. Corbin stared down with Braun and Stephanie's like, Don't you do anything, Braun. You have you have a deal. Don't you'll have him after. And then Braun's like, I have fun being Stephanie's laptop because after Survivor Series, you're gonna get neutered. <laughs> yep. Snip. Snippy, snippy, snip. So now for our for the first so, match of the night. First match, you got Amber Moon versus Tamina with Nia Jax. Of course, Tamina and Nia Jax with their little heel mm -hmm. and being bad guys, of course, and this and that. And, yeah, they overpower her. Forth, yeah. And of course, Tamina won because um, I think Nia did something. And then made Tamina telling, go up there, show her what's it's yeah. done. And then she did the high fly move and pin From her dad? Amber move. Yeah. Her dad's signature move? Yeah. Of course, attacked Amber Moon after the match of freaking course. But, um, oh. pretty much it's just gonna be all talkity talk, talk, talk. Oh, talk. man, that was crazy. It's pretty much this week I was gonna be about all talkity talk. Well, pretty much it won't be all talk giddy talk if the, uh, if the rumors are true. They're going to shave off in an hour off of Raw, so it's just going to be two hours. I don't know. We just have to wait and see. But, um, anyway. The next thing. They have Corey Grace doing an interview. With Seth Rollins. Rollins. Hat down to come out. Just that. Ron saying he don't really care about Nakamura. He, um... He is worrying about getting answers. Saying Dean is a man, he's a he's he's man enough. He can give answers. This and that. He knows Dean. Blah yeah. blah blah. And then Dean pops on the screen. He's, he's sitting. Seen, he's sitting on a red car, and then there's a oil a oil drum on fire right there next to him. On fire. Of course, he's talking. He's talking this and that and this and that. You know what he's doing? He's, he's missing, saying right, he. Ashley? He's missing the uh, marshmallows and s'mores, and there you go. Oh. He's sitting there relaxing on the car. And... <laughs> no, but seriously. S'mores. But seriously, what's what's with the the um the, the oil the oil drum the burning oil drum? He did nothing with it. But um, I don't know. But Dean said he he could go in there and get out of the cold and fight rounds right now, but mm -hmm. no. But um. He, the, uh, Rollins doesn't deserve it, and the fans don't deserve it. Yep. Nobody deserves it. He said he thought the shield made him strong, but made the truth weak. was the shield made him weak. Rollins made him weak. Roman made him weak. He was weak with them, so he feels he's stronger without them. So, and it pretty much ended like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, of course... Dolphin Drew, talky, talky, talky. Talkity, 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 talk, talking about Raw is his show. 
Then, of course, Finn Balor's coming out saying, Oh, come on, stop it, blah, 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 blah. And, um, saying, if you can beat the best Dolph Ziggler, Ziggy Wiggy, he might consider well, putting you, him on the team. Well, the reason why Finn Balor came out is because he wants to fight Drew McIntyre for what he did last week. But not only beating Kurt Angle, but humiliating him by beating him with his own signature move, the ankle lock. So Corbin, but so Corbin's like, um, no, um, but, well, uh, Corbin, no, but, um, McIntyre, he was saying that Finn's not worthy to fight him. If he could beat Dolph Ziggler, then he'll just consider fighting him. But for, um, that, he, uh, Drew McIntyre had met Finn Miller. And of course, we'll make to the next match, Missy. Which is Dolph Ziggy Wiggy versus Finn Balor. Yep, and of course, that match was back and forth, back and forth. Of course, you see, and I'll try and Drew trying to get his in the ring, trying to cheat. Of course. Yep, sit, put his foot on the stairs like this. Trying to say, oh, you're not going to win. Uh-huh. No. But, um,. Of course, Finn Balor actually ended up winning. He, um... Like, rolled? He, like, via rolled up. He was, like, holding him up so he didn't kick out. And he quickly rolled out of the ring because Drew McIntyre came in the ring trying to go after him. Missed him by a hair. So, Finn's actually on the team now. And, More talking. Of course. I'm I'm surprised you remember it and it's not all written down. Right there in your little book. But let's go to what Ruby Wright had to say about what she did last week. Yep. Of breaking G- the Jim Neinhardt's gla- the glasses. Of course. And the hair comes and it's got coming out. And then you hear her be all sad. Like she feels sorry. Sorry for what she did. She's having mm-hmm. nightmares about it. Just then as you see her put a grin on her face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eh, fake oh. out. She didn't. She doesn't. She's a heel. She's like... Yeah, I loved every minute of it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And then... Natalia um, shows up. She comes out, you hear her music. The other two are out of the ring trying to find where she is. And there's Natty coming from behind, attacking. Of course, three on one, you know, who's standing tall. The Riot Squad, of course. But, um, yep. Now it's time for some tag team action. Yep, they had a tag team. Battle Royale. And a bunch of tag teams, like they have Section and... Rude and Gable. Yep, the way they won them, um, who, who, yeah, I think it was the Ascension. Wait, we forgot, was was AOP there? Or, no, was it? No, I don't think so, no. Mm -hmm. But the way Gable, the Gable had the one, I think was the one of the Ascension, um, because the one that was showing up at Gable, and he's like, Thing and then he um he has um no we forgot Slater uh, Slater and Rhino they were the first ones that got eliminated yeah Slater got eliminated and of course if Slater got eliminated Rhino had to go out but then there was AOP but yeah so Rude Gable won that so it's pretty much gonna be as far as these five on five SmackDown vs Raw tag team so but wait didn't like. Was it at some point of tonight's show was um, Kurt Hawkins showed up? Because I admit, I heard overheard someone mentioning Kurt Hawkins. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I know. No one wants to know him. He's so. he's not worth remembering. But and then you have more talking again with Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, Penguin. Oh my God. No, you call him the Wall. Of course. Um, Paul Heyman's talking for Brock. <laughs> well, bless you. Bless you. Sorry. Paul Heyman, make, I'm allergic to, I'm, I'm allergic to Paul Heyman. Allergic to BS. But anyway, he's talking, he's saying, he's going to win, he's going to beat Styles. Everybody's chanting Styles, Styles, oh, Styles. Styles. And then, Missy. <laughs> Magic carpet ride, gender in the freaking hall. Coming out. And he's saying, and he has his two henchmen with him, and he's going... Come, he's t- telling Brock Lesnar to do the Shanti, and it looked like he's br- Brock Lesnar's breathing in, but he's holding back. He's like, he you know, he really Shanti doesn't want to do it. Really doesn't. It sounds like he's saying the S word. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, when you say it right, shall not be shit. But then again, so as he's doing it, Brock Lesnar clotheslined him. He German suplex one uh, one of the one of the was it the Singh brothers? Yeah. And he and Ginger and all the guys rolled out, and he uh, suplexed the other guy again. Yeah. Did you ever see Brock Lesnar literally like eating a pie or freaking eating a vegetable? Why would you think? About... Why would you think about food? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Did you? Would you think? I, I'm telling you, she thinks about food because no, you, there's she, just one person that does think about food. She thinks about it all the time. Yeah, we know her. Well, I'm sorry. The... I'm gonna say your name right now, Sandra. Yes. <laughs> every minute I turn on my phone, I see that food every time. I'm just saying, wouldn't it be really funny seeing him sitting there eating food? Missy, the one... Because he screams like a girl. Missy, the one... Well, the, 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 the things you think about... <laughs> the things you think about during wrestling. It's either food... Or Paul Heyman, Roman yeah. Reigns, well, or furry well, stuff. Roman Reigns is the top. Is the well, like ever. I said, she and then talks furry about food. Stuff. She talks about food because I always said she likes making pancakes for Big E. No, yuck. All right. Well, yes. Moving to... It's disgusting. No, let's move to another little disgusting thing we thought. I know. Was La uh, Lashley sticking his butt out for all the fans. Oh, my God. Making the fans oh, kiss his butt. Of course. Next segment, we got Leah Rush and Lashley talking. Oh my god. Which shrimpy wimpy. Showing off. He's showing off his butt. Yeah. That's why do we need to I see just, that? I just said and, that. And Missy, and Missy thought he farted. Yeah, it sounded like he farted. But How would you know I would love farted. to see if it was Roman's butt, and you would love to see if it was Dean's butt, wouldn't you? <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, well, we know Missy likes butts. <laughs> Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> They're dirty while Leo Rush is talking. Yeah, Elias. Just look at Roman's face, but whatever. But yeah, yeah, during when Leo Rush was talking, yeah. Elias cuts him off, and he's tell and he's sitting in his chair, going to play music, and he tells him, "Before uh, the sound of you guys talking makes everybody, including myself, fall asleep," and then it ended up being into a match. So it ends up leading into a match between Bobby Lashley versus Elias, which was my match. Bobby Lashley versus Elias, and oh, I kind of I kind of like Elias in this direction being well, he's face, face now, so. But this was an interesting match because what was it? The winner of this gets into the um, Survivor Series. No. Yeah, it was. I don't think so. It was. I don't the know. person takes the slot in the team. But anyway, because I remember saying hearing something like that. But anyway, and the being a count out because. Bobby Lashley won because you see little Leo Rush holding holding Liza's leg under the ring. Cheater. So now Bobby Lashley is in the Survivor Series match. Yeah, because he cheated. He took so. the spot. Cheater. Yep. And of course mm, the main event. Which is Missy. Becky. Versus Sasha Banks, baby. But on. before that. Before that, can I correct Missy for a minute? Yes, you she should. She said Becky. It's I Bailey. meant Bailey because I was trying to see it. You spoiled it, Missy. Oh well. Ashley, no, go ahead. Because I saw B and I was trying to read it. And I was trying, but I was anyway. To, before um, that. Before the match. Pay no attention to what she said. Thick. I technically can't really talk because I was downstairs. But. It was the um, Alexa Bliss toothpick. Yeah, yeah, she is a toothpick, and she's ta revealing all five members of her of the women's division of the Raw women's team that will be fighting SmackDown. Yeah, she told Natalia to go home, but she's one of the members. Yep. So we have Natalia, Nia Jax, Mickey James, and Tamina. But however. The fifth, mem the fifth member of the team, that she called out Sasha Banks and Bailey. Right. So whoever won that match gets the slot. Yep. Yeah. Which, which and, uh, you got, you came in at that part during the fight. Yep, yeah, of course. It ended up being a DQ, and mm -hmm. Bliss said neither, and she brings out Ruby Riot. Yep. Yeah. So of course. And during the commotion. We look, to look at the cameras backstage. 
to Ronda Rousey's uh, dressing room, and we see Becky Lynch nearly breaking her arm. And then, of course, Becky comes out, stares down, and then help the comes... entire t the entire team. Yeah, SmackDown woman coming attack. Mm -hmm. No, then the entire SmackDown women's division attack. So basically, SmackDown invaded Raw twice in two in two years. Last year, it was the entire SmackDown team invading Raw. This time, it's only the women's division attacking Raw. And then you see um Becky all bloody. Yeah, yeah. from wow. her face yeah. and her like, nose. From her nose, eyes. You can see the blood. And then, of course, Ron was coming out, and then. Becky gets a she few get uh, Rhonda Rhonda gets a few lucky punches on a few people, but then her arm gets get, gives out. Yeah, and then of course Becky gets a chair, hits it with Rhonda, and mm -hmm. you know without a doubt everybody in that re arena cheered when Becky beat up Rhonda Rousey. Yeah, they were saying yeah. Becky, Becky, one more, one more. They don't want they want Becky to be. Cause I kind of do too. And we don't want Bro uh, Lesnar champion. That's why we want Brock. We want Brock Lesnar to lose to Braun Strowman. Like so, the next pay per view is going to be Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar for the title. Yeah, and Brock Lesnar and I are going to get these angles. Yep, maybe Paul Heyman should, right? Yeah, so but that fat penguin. You want him in the poor poly again? You want to say that? I had to sit, steal that joke from you. But um, I'm excited to see some adversaries. See how yeah. that turns out. Um, are you excited? I'm excited. How did you like Raw? You didn't know it was Sunday. At the, at the end, uh, she was like, Stephanie was in the back with Baron Corbin. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. They were talking about how, like, how she came out of nowhere. And they were all, all like, she's really? mad. Isn't that, let's look like Baron Corbin's going to be active in a major. Not that long. Nope, because she, she was like telling him to do his job. So, yeah, but, but, uh -huh. um, how did you like Raw? Did you like the more talking? But, but usually that's all it is. It's talky talky. Remember, you have to add drama. You gotta put story. Well, you just can't have people have, fighting. The only thing I liked out of the, the, uh, the, the best talking out of the whole thing was when Braun Strowman, when he's like a <laughs> neuter brother Corbin, and oh, Elias. That was funny. Yeah. Uh -huh. So. Death um, of Elias. Oh, she still says Death of Elias. I don't care. Your face. I don't care. Still be Death of Elias. So, but, um. Yeah. It's never walk with Elias. It's death with Elias. So, um, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more Bye. raw recap.